Hey guys, Pogo here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get um, Craft Bucket for 1.8. It's a little bit strange because, you know, now Mojang took over Bucket, and uh, if you try to download from dl.bucket.org, you get an error that um, it was taken down due to a copyright. But actually, uh, if you download it through Spigot, um, it will actually give you a copy of Craft Bucket. It's a little bit strange though how Spigot does it. It, it uh, has a tool that you use to download and compile and you know basically do all of the work for you. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do that today because it's not as easy as just downloading the server and running it. <clears throat> so uh, we'll go ahead and go to the downloads right here and this will take us to their Jenkins server and you'll see they have the build tools project. Uh, when you hit download on this build tools, it's going to download a jar file, and this jar file um, is will uh, download and install Bucket and Craft Bucket for you. So uh, it's basically a tool to do all of the work for you. So we're gonna go ahead and on the desktop, we're gonna make a new folder for our server here. Um, you know, eventually I'll move it somewhere else, but we're just going to call this Minecraft server. And you want to make sure that when you run build tools that you do it in a folder because it's going to create a bunch of files and you don't want it to just, you know, be on your desktop or somewhere. So I created this Minecraft server folder. I'm going to grab build tools and drop it in here. And now we'll go ahead and set it up. This is a command line tool, so we're going to open up terminal. This will work on Windows or Linux as well, so you just need to open up your terminal or command prompt and follow similar steps here. First, we want to get into our directory, so the directory is desktop Minecraft server. Um, if you want, you know, you can just type it in like that, or if you type in the word cd and then you drag this directory in, it'll do the exact same thing. Next thing that we need to do is we want to do java-jar. We're saying we're using the java command and we want to run a jar file. And then I'm just going to drag it in. So it's going to run this build tools jar file. Um, and then we'll hit enter. And you'll see here, uh, if you are doing this on a Mac, you'll see it says, sorry, but Macintosh is not currently supported platform for compiling at this time. Um, there is a way to bypass that, though. And I did test it and it worked just fine for me. So you'll see it says if you feel like testing Macintosh support please run it with the dash d mac dot support equals true option. So in order to do that I'm gonna go back to the command that we did before and before the dash jar I'm gonna go right here and I'm gonna type dash d mac dot supported equals true. And now if I hit run you'll see that um, it'll start working and it's creating all of these folders and it's gonna take I think it takes about five minutes to run so uh, in order to run this at least on a Mac it does require a couple of different tools of course it's obviously going to require um, Java but I believe it does also require uh, Git and it requires some build building related things so if you're doing this on a Mac I believe that you're gonna wanna have Xcode installed which you can get for free from the Mac App Store but that'll um, supply a bunch of important tools so if it doesn't work if you get an error about some command not found or something not installed um, then that's probably why and if worse comes to worse you can just try it on a different system if you have a Mac or a PC then that would uh, also work so the script is gonna take a little while and you can see it's um, giving us some information. It's right now using Maven to get all of the um, dependencies that are needed by Minecraft and everything. Uh, it's downloading everything from GitHub, so we have the latest version, or through Git. So we have the latest version. Now it is decompiling all of these um, Minecraft server classes. This is the actual Minecraft server made by Mojang. So it's going to decompile every single class 
and then it's going to patch them I believe and this is just gonna take a little while so if you want you can skip ahead uh, a little bit there's not too much but um, you'll see it's just right now it's patching with some of the patches that fix some different things now we are compiling and you can see Maven gives us these um, messages so we're building a bucket um, jar right now and now it's running a bunch of tests and you can see it just ran 906 tests and zero of them failed that worked fine it said build success so now it's going to build craft bucket so we have bucket built now we're going to have craft bucket built and now it's going to run some tests there now with uh, craft bucket it does actually take a little while I believe for these tests but it might be a little bit faster since I already ran this before so we go around 4000 tests zero failed which means everything's looking good and it is um, it's shading the jars right now that just means it's building it with a bunch of dependencies that it needs um, just gotta wait, somebody's finished. Alright, I'm just gonna go ahead and pause this until it's finished. And alright, it just finished. Now you'll see that we have this error stuff at the end, and the first time this happened, when I ran this the first time, I got these errors, but I decided to try it anyways, and it worked. So for now, we'll just um, ignore it. But you can see that it's now finished. We're back at the prompt right there. So let's just take a look at what happened. So it created a bunch of folders here. It was you know, doing a lot of work with downloading and compiling and everything. Um, but the thing that we want to check out is you can choose either bucket or craft bucket, either one. I'm going to go with craft bucket. You can click on it and you'll get all of these folders, but you want to look for the target folder. And you'll see if I go back to bucket and I look at the target folder, they're both going to be pretty similar. In the target folder, you'll see three jar files. There's one that uh, is dash remapped, there's one that is original, and then there's this one, this craft bucket 1.8 R0.1 snapshot, and this is the one that we want. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste it um, right here. And you know what, I'm just going to move everything else into a folder. I'm just going to call the folder build tools. And you really don't need any of this other stuff, but um, might as well just stick it in here. So now we have our bucket um, jar file, and let's go ahead and try it out. We'll go ahead and do java-jar and um, just drag this in. We're going to hit enter, and you'll see we get that loading libraries please wait. You're probably pretty familiar with that. Um, so, so far so good. And now you'll see this is a new thing that uh, happens when you first run it says you need to agree to the EULA in order to run the server and then it stops the server so if we look here it generated a couple of files this is the EULA text file and it says by changing the setting below to true you are indicating your agreement to our EULA so you want to go ahead and read this this is just um, you know their end user license agreement probably talking about their um, you know, you can't sell advantages and that whole thing that went down. So in order to get the server to start, you need to set EULA equal to true. By doing that, it means that you agree to the EULA, so you're probably going to want to read that first. Now we'll go ahead and try running it again. I'm just doing java-jar that I'm putting that jar file in. You'll see again, loading libraries, please wait. And now you'll see it's starting. These exceptions are just because of the whitelist file, the ops file, and the band IPs file. It's nothing wrong. In the meantime, I'll go ahead and get Minecraft open so we can uh, check this out and make sure that it's all working. So, launcher is started. I'm playing 1.8.1. That's the latest version at this time. Um, and you'll see that finished in 19 seconds. It generated all of the worlds that we need. So I'll go to multiplayer and I'm just going to do localhost and we'll check... Oops, where do we want to check? 
it's starting on port 25565 so just type in localhost and there you go you can see player um, Pogosic29 logged in and I am now jumping around in this Minecraft world um, and you'll see that everything does work just to quickly show you that this is um, 1.8 and everything if I do version you'll see the server is running bucket it's MC 1.8 API version 1.8 R0.1 and if I do a command like minecraft title oh, this is 29 title bucket 1.8 I need to opt myself first and you'll see that now if I run it I guess I can't use the dot. But you'll see that uh, we are in fact running Minecraft 1.8 and we are in fact running Bucket or Craft Bucket 1.8. So that is how you get uh, Bucket and Craft Bucket set up. You can't just download the file anymore. It has to do all of this extra work to download and decompile the net.minecraft.server files. Um, and then it needs to get everything all set up. You download it through Spigot, but this is not Spigot, it is um, Bucket. So that's all for this video. From now on, if you want to set up a new server, that is how you're going to want to do it. And in my future Bucket videos, I am going to use the file that I just built through this method. So if ever you need a new Bucket file or you get confused, uh, just refer back to this video. So, uh, subscribe if you want to see more, comment with what you want to learn. If you like this video, click the like button, and I'll see you guys soon with some coding. Bye for now.